This is for the x-axis for how I mounted it and the specs on it. If you're getting this eBay DRO, which is uh, about $100 for the head unit, it comes with the mount. And um, then the scales are separate. They're about $35 to $40 each, depending on length. I did another video on how I mounted that. Um, for the Y, now for the X, I ordered it a little bit longer than I needed because I want because you lose uh, two inches on each side for the reader head. So I would have only got to right about where the, the stop would be, and I wanted to make sure I had enough and I didn't mind going over the edge. So all I did for that was I took a piece of angle iron, cut it the size, I used one uh, that's 1024. Drilled and tapped that, and then that's um, also a 1024 screw. Or, well, I guess it's a bolt because it has a nut on the end of it. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to trim this off or use it as a mount for the cover, which I have right here. So you can do it like that. Um, but then I have to cut the bottom because I won't be able to get to the the two Gibbs locks, which I use uh, pretty often because this machine does have a bit of backlash, so I'm probably going to cut it and trim it and make it nice and tight to the to the scale itself. And uh, that's pretty much it. There was a, the stops were there were two stops. They were inside the dovetail on the side, and then there was a piece that was right here. Unfortunately, the holes didn't line up and they were too big, so I drilled and tapped two. I think these are 832 because they slide right through there. And then there's some shims in the back to keep it away. And then when you're putting this on, it comes with, let me see if I can grab it. It comes with this piece right here, which just slides out. You know, it's a, I can't put it in because this is in the way, but it's essentially like that. And you, know, you mount it, get it shimmed up, and then you should be able to slide that out nice and easy. But that's it. The same thing was done on this side. And everything clears, and I have full table movement. You could put this on the back, but you would lose about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of travel, or about eight, 18 millimeters. Um, that's about it for this. I ran the wires around that side because on this side are the Gibbs locks for this and I didn't want anything in my way. They're already hard enough to reach under there. And then we'll come on this side and see how the wire, the cable goes right above where the, the mount that I made in there. Nice and tight to that. I, I was thinking about putting one over here but it really doesn't need it. And then in the back right there you just pull it all the way out make sure you have enough travel and then tighten those down this is going to have a cover on it so this will look more like that when it's out and that's pretty much it and then as far as the movement goes and that's stopped and then i turn and i got about eighteen thousand backlash in this which is pretty crazy i gotta figure out how to adjust it and then should start moving there we go which because of all the backlash in this in this table um i i locked the gibbs down pretty hard when i was making cuts or something in the opposite axis uh just because the table has a tendency to jump and even if if i if i push on the table i can get it to, i can get it to move I mean, if you push hard enough, you could probably take all the backlash out with just pushing it. But look, like I said, the Gibbs are, are pretty tight in this. And there's also this adjustment right here, which you can tighten down. And then there's another one right in, right in there. So that tightens your Gibbs also when you're not using, when you're not locking it down with those. And that's, that's about it for now. I haven't... Other than this little wire management right here, I haven't, I haven't really done anything else for the wires. And um, I'm going to clean all this up, and I have a small box I'm going to mount right here with a fuse and a switch. That way when I turn it on, 
the DRO will turn on, and this little LED light. I think this was called a sewing machine light or something on eBay. I'll put a link in, in the description if anybody likes it. It's pretty bright, and then um, I haven't done lighting in the shed yet, so this is about the best lighting I have. And I also haven't done the 220, which you can see hanging out the wall right there. And then I have this, which is, has the magnifying glass on it, and uh, that's just mounted on a block on the wall. And I put it in the center so I could also use it for the drill press right here. And I'll do another video on the table that I built. I haven't uh, leveled it yet or adjusted it, but uh, I showed it in the other video on the y-axis. How it is and how it's laid out. It's pretty simple. It's two by two box steel. Um, all TIG welded because that's just what I had on hand. And um, I don't have any gas for my MIG welder. Um, the draw slides are 24 inch full extension. Some handles and I think between this and then my, my lathe table I used uh, three sheets of uh, half inch plywood. Um, they're all, all the drawers are bisqueted together on the bottom and uh, bisqueted on the side and they're, they're just, but, uh, you know, butted up against each other. So there's no, like, uh, I didn't use a dado blade or anything or make rabbits and that's about it. I bisqueted, glued, and then uh, brad nail to hold it all together while it was drying. And that's the drawer slides. But I'll do another video where I talk all about that. So that's it. So we got the X and the Y and then the Z. I'm gonna have to figure something out. I really do like this though. I mean, other than the fact that it moves around. And in the other video I said, if I get up close, let me see if I can get a light better in there. You can see it gives you fractions of an inch while you're working. It's very accurate. Um, I've been able to make very accurate cuts and counter bores with this it was very good and that's that's what I had on the on the table before but I wanted something that I, I could uh, work with a lot easier and also see a lot better was, I still don't have good light in here and also I can I have the half function which I I like so you can center on a part and uh, it's it's pretty good. I haven't used any of the other functions, bolt hole circles and all that, but I'll get to that. And that's about it.